Entrepreneurs can sort out every single problem in the world. I remember when I was 14, I was in the kitchen with my mom and she was going through Forbes and I was like, I'm going to be there one day. To have that association with some of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. It's an amazing accomplishment to be on the Forbes 30 under 30 list. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to make the 30 under 30 list, what the process is like, the benefits of being a 30 under 30 lister. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you a few different tips of what it takes to be on the list from someone who's actually done it. So sit back, buckle up, and let's begin the video. The Forbes 30 under 30 list is the creme de la creme list of young entrepreneurs, innovators, and change makers who are building the future of society and business. The young, creative, and bold minds of each year's 30 under 30 list are proof that the future will be new, exciting, and profoundly different. These entrepreneurs are teaching viruses to fight cancer, developing technology to help astronauts breathe on Mars, and creating strings of hit songs that fuel our daily playlists. You may already be familiar with the Forbes 400 list. It's basically a list of the 400 richest people in the world. At the top, you'll see Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, and other wildly successful business people. To make the Forbes 400 list, you need to have a net worth above $2.1 billion. But the Forbes 30 under 30 list, while still exclusive, is a bit more attainable for most people. There's actually 20 different categories ranging from music to consumer technology. All honorees, also called listers, are under the age of 30 and making big moves in their respective industries. Since 2011, the annual Forbes 30 under 30 list have been recognized as the definitive search for the world's most inspiring young innovators, bright rising stars, and the leaders of tomorrow who are transforming the world. Unsurprisingly, past listers have won gold medals, won the Super Bowl, Pulitzer Prizes, and more. They include the likes of Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, Snapchat's Evan Spiegel, and a host of other famous names that would indeed overlap with the Forbes 400 list. It was an incredible opportunity to make the list myself in the consumer technology section. My co-founder and I were named to the Forbes 30 under 30 list for 2020 for our work building My Swim Pro. So what's the big deal and how do you get on this list? Well, at the surface, it's pretty obvious. Being on the cover of Forbes magazine is kind of a big deal. Beyond the recognition, there are some massive opportunities that come along with being a lister. In fact, it's not really a list, it's more like an exclusive community of innovators around the world. There's private meetups, Facebook groups, there's even a mobile app, but most of the time, it's just something that you can add to your LinkedIn bio and use it to get you in the door. Building partnerships, recruiting team members, raising money. It's just another form of validation to show the world and your industry that you're doing something big. It's sort of like street cred. It's similar to having a degree at an Ivy League school or working for a prestigious company, even working at the office of a famous politician. Access to this global cohort of ambitious millennials opens up a world of contacts, experiences, and peer support from entrepreneurs of every background and industry imaginable. Take me for example, the son of two Syrian immigrants. I was listed in Forbes Middle East among other 30 under 30 listers with Arab heritage. This is an amazing group of individuals who all share the same ethnic background as me, and it's pretty amazing to connect and support each other at every level. There's also these annual events called the Forbes 30 Under 30 Summit. I attended last year's in Detroit and it's pretty amazing. They bring the top entrepreneurs in the world. People like Richard Branson, Serena Williams, and Jessica Alba. It's pretty hype. We just left the Forbes 30 Under 30 Summit. Just imagine a networking event where everyone you talk to is changing the world in some way. That's no exaggeration. It's a place to be, and the people it brings together are amazing. So let's get into the details of how you actually get into the Forbes 30 under 30 list. Forbes receives over 20,000 nominations in the United States alone, placing the odds of making the list 
even tougher than getting into Harvard or Stanford. There are more than 30 applications for every one spot on the list. The process itself is pretty straightforward. There's an online application portal and it opens every year for each region. You can nominate yourself or be nominated by another individual. And I'll link the application information in the description of this video. And while you're down there, go ahead and tap the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. On this channel, I share how to bring your ideas to life and all things entrepreneurship, building startups, investing in startups. So if you're looking to take your ideas to the next level, be sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So let's get back to the application process. There's normally a cutoff date in the fall for nominations toward the following year's list. There's also a cutoff date for your age. Remember, this is the Forbes 30 under 30 list. So everyone on the list is either in their 20s or even a teenager. Sometimes, like in my case, a small team of founders can be collectively recognized instead of just one individual. A short 500 character statement as to why the nominee belongs on the list is required and there's another 500 character summary on what motivates the nominee to be successful or make a difference. You also need to input the nominee's date of birth, schooling, and social media links and these are all super important to include. Speaking of social media, feel free to give me a follow on social media for behind the scenes of what it's like building a global technology and media company. Once the Forbes editorial team filters through all the applications, a team of journalists contact the shortlisted nominees to request more information, clarifications, and a better understanding of how you'd be a good fit. I had a few email exchanges with a journalist just a few weeks into this process, and then a panel of expert judges from your chosen industry will go over these results for a more comprehensive shortlist before the decisions are ultimately made and a final selection is done. The whole process takes about two to three months and the Forbes 30 under 30 list was announced on the first Tuesday in December. Opening the email and seeing that I was on the Forbes 30 under 30 list for 2020 was absolutely incredible. And since then, I've been featured in numerous news articles, press releases, and interviewed over a dozen times on different podcasts. So how do you stand out? Well, I'll share a few ideas from my perspective, but keep in mind that I don't work for Forbes. This is just my experience making the list and speaking with about 100 other Forbes 30 under 30 listers. Tip number one, identify your impact. Find your passion, figure out what impact you're having in the industry that you work in. You have to be genuinely passionate about what you're working on and making a huge impact in the industry. Authenticity is key. For me at my SwimPro, we created the largest digital community of swimmers in the world. Our app is like a personal coach. We have over 1 million app downloads and the app was named by Apple as the best app of the year. While you don't have to have any specific press or accolades, you do need to show how big of an impact that you're having in the industry that you're in. Tip number two, personal brand. When you Google yourself, what do you see? You may or may not think of yourself as having a brand, but you do, and your personal brand is the collective image of how you project yourself both in person and digitally through Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and so on. This is huge, and it ties into how big of an impact that you're having. Most of the Forbes 30 under 30 listers have a very polished LinkedIn, Wikipedia pages, or at least a company website that shows how big of an impact they're actually having in the industry. Tip number three, get nominated from other Forbes 30 under 30 alum. This is key. I was nominated by a few Forbes 30 under 30 alums that I knew and they encouraged me to nominate myself and ask other Forbes 30 under 30 alums to nominate me as well. Make sure you actually know these people. They need to know you to give a true recommendation and nomination. I did just that and in the nomination form, there's actually a field to mark if you're an alum of the program or not. Like I said earlier, I don't work for Forbes, but I think it's fair to assume that a nomination from a prior lister carries a little bit more weight than the average nomination. So it doesn't hurt to try and ask for some nominations if you do in fact know some of these prior listers. If you know someone who deserves to be on the Forbes 30 under 30 list, share this video with them. If you think you have the chops for it, nominate yourself. You've got nothing to lose. Like any list, it's marketing. In this case, for Forbes, the list is a marketing tactic to not only recognize an emerging demographic and build a connection to a younger audience, but also to build a relationship with the next generation of movers and shakers from around the world. 
Take advantage of this opportunity. It's literally a once in a lifetime chance. You've got nothing to lose. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Wishing you guys all the best and until next time, keep hustling.